Hey guys, it's Mr. Jennings. Um, I just wanted to make some videos for you guys. I, I miss seeing you in class, um, but I wanted to take some time to, as we go through the chapters in the book, even though we're doing it uh, separately, uh, to uh, just go over the chapters a little bit, uh, kind of an overview, overview for you, hit the key points uh, that I want you to get out of each chapter as we work through the Wise Up book. Um, obviously doing it in a different atmosphere and a different environment. Uh, I do want to, with each chapter, uh, like I said, give you a few key points, uh, look at the teacher's lesson a little bit, uh, obviously give you a couple jokes because that's what I like to do and uh, uh, most of you seem to enjoy them. If you want to skip past the jokes you can do that, but uh, for today I'll start with a couple jokes, I'll go over the lesson I want to, uh, the points I want to hit, uh, and then we'll close in prayer. Uh, and I'll do that for each chapter uh, as we go through. A couple jokes for today. Um, one that seems kind of fitting for right now with us all staying at home. But uh, uh, my boss told me to have a good day. Uh, so I picked up my things and went home. Uh, I think that's too funny as a student, but uh, you may. Uh, a couple more. Uh, today at the bank, an older lady asked me to check her balance. Uh, so I pushed her over. Um, may have said this one before, but what do you call a boomerang that won't come back? Uh, a stick. And then lastly, um, for today, what do you call security guards uh, working outside Samsung shops? Of course, they're the guardians of the galaxy. Um, but looking at lesson 23, first of all, that was the first chapter you guys worked on. Um, outside of class um, and on your own. Uh, it's on obedience and submission. You guys had an assignment, kind of a self-evaluation. We've done those. We've done one of those previously, uh, but I wanted to just uh, do another one here as we look at this and how we are doing with that. Um, and like I said, I just want to go over the key points uh, of each chapter. You're doing two a week, um, which I may have to slow down at this point. Um, but the one benefit of knocking out two chapters a week is we may actually be able to get through uh, the entire book, which I wasn't sure that we would be able to do. Um, but with obedience and submission, we really could have went through all of these character traits that we looked at in any order um, with um, love and integrity, meekness and humility, hard work and faithfulness, self-control and courage. But uh, we want to look at obedience and submission here, I think, last in this order as the book does. Uh, for a couple reasons and, and I think obedience and submission tie all these character qualities uh, together uh, in that obedience and submission uh, to the principles and commands of God uh, enable us to be successful in those other areas of love and integrity, meekness and humility, hard work and faithfulness, self-control and courage. Um, and uh, obedience, uh, I think sometimes we we think of it as like a as, a as a miserable thing to us and if we are in the wrong place and we're not submissive in our hearts uh, then then it will probably feel like a chore uh, we don't think of obedience when we think of things that we would want to do anyway um, you know I don't know for example a chore you might have around the household if your parents asked you to do it um, the obedience there that's required is uh, making sure that you are doing what you need to do and uh, not necessarily something that you want to do, uh, but something that you're commanded to do. Just like God commands us to do things, uh, our parents will do the same thing as well. Um, so looking at that there, how obedience and submission tie that all in together. Uh, you know, none of us like that idea, as I just kind of said, of just obeying for the sake of obeying, doing something just because we're told to do it. Uh, I think that's natural for us to not desire to do that just because it's our, our duty to do. Um, you know, God wants us to be obedient. He wants us to be submissive. Uh, and when we are doing those things, that unlocks his promises from his word uh, and gives our lives uh, a true purpose. Uh, and those blessings that follow, you know, come to those of us who trust God and obey him. Uh, you know, when we think of sowing and reaping, which we've talked about before, uh, if you're obedient, again, we are rewarded with those uh, uh, blessings, with those uh, promises that God has given to us. 
Uh, but on the other hand, the opposite things of obedience and submission, uh, if we were to think about stubbornness and, and self-will and rebellion, um, usually don't hurt others. Yes, they will hurt others, but they don't hurt others as much as they can hurt us ourselves. So, uh, you know, making sure we are being obedient uh, and submissive because of what God's Word tells us, not just because it's our duty and it's what we're supposed to do and we have to do it. Um, and as I talk about these things, hopefully you can pick up on the, the concept of our attitude behind our obedience is, is a key uh, to our obedience and then more so the submission part. Uh, and unfortunately, you can be obedient uh, without being really submissive. Uh, but we want to have both of those things. And, and just as I wrap up the chapter here of Lesson uh, 23, uh, several different types of obedience. And, um, you know, which type of obedience are we doing? Uh, the first type, a legalistic obedience, means that we obey out of duty rather than from a right heart and out of love. We're doing it because we have to, um, not because it's the right thing to do. Uh, I think about that, there's an old, I grew up watching the Three Stooges, you might not even know what they are, but there was one episode where they were working in a hospital and they were messing everything up, but everything they did, they said they did, they would say, for duty and humanity, and you know they were doing it for that reason. I think there was some girl in the episode they were trying to impress, so it wasn't really to help people, the patients in the hospital, they were doing it um, for their own motives. And I think of that there, it's kind of a silly illustration, but I think of that in there and that legalistic obedience. Are we just doing it because it's our duty? Or, uh, is our heart not really in the obedience and we're just doing it because we have to? Uh, the second kind would be procrastinating obedience. We all know what pre procrastination is. Um, we obey what we are commanded to do, but only in our timing. When we're ready to do it, that's when we'll do it, not when we're commanded to do it. Uh, another type would be resentful obedience which we obey but with a poor attitude uh, showing we're clearly not pleased to be doing it I think we all can relate to that um, you know obviously with a, you can see in body language that the the attitude isn't right um, you know I deal with that with my children a little bit uh, here at home uh, you know I ask them to do something and they'll do it uh, but all of a sudden their arms uh, look like they weigh a thousand pounds each and the shoulders are down and it's like they're dragging their knuckles on the ground to go do it And that's kind of what I was thinking of when I thought of that resentful obedience where you know We'll do it, but we're not clear. We're gonna let everybody know that we're not happy to be doing it um, Another type of uh, obedience incomplete obedience and that's pretty self-explanatory. We only do it We obey, but we're only doing it half-heartedly um, Or we don't complete the task. You know, you may complete it, but you're doing it without the the effort that you should be putting into it, or you're not completing the task as it was meant to be done. Uh, and then lastly, the, the other kind of obedience, and the kind that we should be striving for, is spiritual obedience, where we obey and do uh, a good job with a right heart behind it and a loving attitude behind it. Uh, so as you looked at that, as you went through your self-evaluation, hopefully you took some time and looked at where you are, where your heart is, and your. Um, hopefully you are obedient, um, but not only obedient, having that submissive uh, and right heart as you are obedient. Uh, so again, that's just some thoughts on chapter 23. I'm going to check in with each chapter here. I know this was a couple weeks back, but I wanted to make sure we went over it a little bit together as a class. Um, feel free to send me any questions or any thoughts that you might have. Uh, I'm learning out, learning this whole video thing a little bit. I've never really done YouTube videos or anything like that, but uh, feel free to give back any input um, you might have um, as we go through. But let's go ahead and pray, and uh, then we'll wrap up this video. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for each of the students in this class. Lord, as we are not able to meet together, uh, just help this time to be productive. Lord, I know it's been good for me. Uh, to have the study time in your word and to um, just develop these few thoughts. Uh, and hopefully it's been beneficial for the students as well to go through the chapters and to read your word and to read through the chapters and learn. Uh, even though we're not doing it together as one in one place, as one unit in a classroom setting, Lord, help us to each be growing uh, in spiritual wisdom as we've been striving to, do, striving to do throughout this year. Lord, as we look at obedience and submission, Lord, uh, help our hearts to be in the right place uh, as we... Uh, strive to uh, obey you and not just because it's what we're commanded to do but because it's what we want to do and we want to show our love for you and our right heart 
a heart that beats for you. Uh, be with each of us as we are separated. Help us to uh, stay healthy. Uh, take the precautions we need to uh, just to come through this on the other side. Lord, is just uh, uh, able to say that we didn't just sit in our houses and and veg out for a, a few weeks or months or whatever it is, but Lord, we were able to grow in you and to really focus on our walk with you as we're not surrounded by all the distractions, uh, but really to focus on our walk with you. Lord, thank you for all that you do for us. In your name we pray. Amen.